So six months ago, you pretty much had to go to semi-legal sites to download semi-legal applications to screen record your iPhone or iPad. Now, this guy from this company is getting involved. What's going on? Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel. My name is Rob and if this is your first time here, my main mission on this channel is to help you screen record your iPhone or iPad screens and share them with the world. It's getting easier and easier to do that of course with iOS 11, lots of screen recording apps out there now, including the native screen recorder, but we're also seeing larger, much larger firms getting potentially involved in this area. What do I mean by this? Well, if I go to the App Store and look at Facebook, the current version 1570, nothing seems untoward there. However, when I started to do screen recordings for other applications, I noticed something very interesting in the screen recording area of my device. We have the camera roll, TechSmith, and these other ones, but also right here, we have Facebook adding itself as a screen recording option. Now, at the moment, if you try and do a recording, it counts down and then we get an error, which is very surprising from such a huge company to add a feature in which isn't quite complete yet, and it just gives us a null screen broadcasting error. If you go to the settings, there's nothing really untoward there in terms of Facebook. There's all sorts of access that it already needs to access a photo, access a microphone for live streaming. So the question begs, why does Facebook want to screen record our devices directly? Hmm, let's ruminate. Ruminate, verb, to think deeply about something. Now my first thought is that maybe Facebook wants to do something with Facebook Messenger, a way to officially screen record and audio record a video message. As you may or may not know, when you try and record things like Skype, phone calls, FaceTime, you always hit problems with a screen recorder because the screen recorder itself wants to use a microphone but this other application wants to use a microphone and it doesn't tend to work. So maybe they're integrating a recording system officially into Messenger but then why wouldn't the Facebook Messenger have the screen recording API? Now Facebook on the whole is very hot on video content right now. They're trying to pull in as many YouTube video creators as possible and of course there's many people who have been successful on Facebook particularly with live broadcasts. Maybe they want to incorporate live broadcasts onto Facebook with screen recording, maybe you want to play a game, Clash Royale. As it stands, YouTube gaming doesn't serve uh, mobile gamers very well on the iPhone platform. It's pretty much a pain in the butt to try and do a screen record broadcast directly to YouTube. So Facebook maybe want to jump the gun and try and get there before YouTube does with something that's more wholesale and records any game, broadcast any game rather than the YouTube gaming which is all dependent on its own replay kit in screen recording that's been available since iOS 10. It could also simply be a bug. Somebody put the code into the Facebook app and nobody's really reported it, so it's just there. Or I could have asked somebody at Facebook to put it in to the program for me to spot because let's face it, I'm probably the only one who's gonna report this on YouTube and here I am doing it. So uh, I've been pranked, maybe. Anyway, those are my pretty ridiculous ruminations on why Facebook might be wanting to use a screen recorder on iPhone or iPads. I wanna know what you think. Surely you have some better ideas than me. Let us know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to lightly tap that thumbs up button. And if you want more iOS screen recording content just like this, check out all the playlists on my channel and subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel. As always, enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.